Hey YouTubers, and today is um, let me see, uh, Elements of Nature, the Kurayin, or the Kurayin. Um, I did a little mistake, okay, when I was doing the Four Rings of Power, it was a little messed up, okay? So, I'm going to do it over again. Alright. We're going to work on Chi, Fu, Ka, Suai. Those are the four rings of power. What they're meaning? Earth, wind, fire, water. This is all part of the spiritual side of Nijutsu. Most people don't study this until they get master level. I study it because it's interesting. To learn how this all works in Nijitsu. It's also part of history if you think about it. Um, the spiritual side is always part of advanced warrior. Um, even though I am a Shodan, I wanted to learn this. So I learned it. Um, negative and positive energy how to calm myself down how to calm others down and meditate properly takes a lot of effort and training um, I took a lot of training on up when I was when I was about like eight years old I started training real hard with everything um, because at eight years old, I was smaller than any other eight-year-old in my class. I was being constantly picked on. So I had to learn how to fight. Predictably, if you live in an area where there was violence everywhere, you had to learn to defend yourself at all times, at all costs. Um, but you can't go through fighting all the time. This is why the spiritual side of Nijutsu appeals to me to be a buffer from the violence outside. All this does make sense if you think about it. It takes a lifetime to master it. Cultivate energy, breathing, meditation, highs and lows of your own stress level. Yes, this also will combat stress. Because being my age, I'm under a lot of stress. Um, either it'd be someone would say, hey, you dummy, or something like that. Yeah, of course, Lee, that triggers my response of saying, okay, you want to throw down punk? You know, that triggers my response because when I was growing up, if you was called out, you had to fight. That's old school. I am an old school person, but yet in a modern age. But, this don't link to fighting. This is links to calming, soothing, and giving you the spiritual side. But if you're in a fight, 
it can also give you a little bit of wisdom. When to fight, when not to fight, how to fight, why to fight, you know, or when just to walk away. You know, a lot of people, you know, I've been walking away periodically um, all this year because I had to know what my stress level was. And my stress level is pretty damn high. Um, last time I got in a fight was last summer. And I nearly beat this person half to death. So I kept on hitting him in the temple. And that's where I hit at. Most of the time he's in the temple. Um, but I was after that I was thinking, I could kill this person. Why should I try to kill this person? And then I start this back over my try in uh, because I needed solitude, peace of mind, peace of body, spirit. And everything. As I said, once you start linking these powers together, this is chi. Chi means from the ground. Wind, wisdom. Fire, combustible. and water flowing. I want you to take a minute and close your eyes and breathe. Just a minute. Breathe all that frustration out. Suck in the, you know, Get that good air in, expel it, and get it through the lungs, through your heart, wipe out everything out of your mind. I want you to do chi. I want you to concentrate on what your body's saying to you. Then I want you to move to the second level. Which is when wisdom. And then I want you to move to the second, uh, the other level, which is fire. Now, once you sit there and start concentrate on your own heart rhythm and breathing, if you start feeling a tingle, you're cultivating chi energy. You're cultivating in it. You are. Expressing it. Once you move to water, you will feel it flowing. Then I want you to open your eyes slowly. If you don't feel a change, it's okay. You can redo this sometime later. But if you feel a change right then and there, you are in positive, positive energy. If you don't, it doesn't work on all people all the time. You gotta have a quiet area to do it. You can even do it at the job site. If you have any stress, take a minute out. And do what this video says. I know a lot of people watch me in job sites. I know it. Especially the people behind the desk. They got the most stressful job of all. They have to answer phones. They have to get this. They have to get that. They have to 
bring in papers on time. That's very stressful. Cops are very stressful. All of this will help you calm your stress. Well, that's it for right now. Thank you, YouTube.